The Avenging Son, Reboot Gilliman. That's right, Papa Smurth, the true master of Ultramar. Well, whatever you call him, he has a massive sword. The sword of the Emperor, even. And that is what we're going to be painting today. Nice. All right, first step is white. We want to get this thing as white as we possibly can. We're going to use a lot of yellows and reds, but we really want everything to go over bright white base so we can get this as bright as possible. This is the sword of the emperor after all, so we really want this thing to pop. Okay, now that we have the white down, we're actually going to go to some yellow from Liquitex Artist Inks. These are really cool because they're more translucent and you can do a lot of good blending work. These are really easy to airbrush. They airbrush on really smooth. And we're just going to go straight in. No thinner, no flow improver or anything. Artist Inks flow really well just straight out of the bottle. There's really not much you need to do to them. Just put them in the airbrush and let them rip. Now I'm going to come around and we're going to focus around the outside. We're gonna to try to leave the center as bright white as we can. We're definitely gonna come back and give it a few touch-ups and put that center bright white line back in. Remember, any paint, especially translucent paint and yellow paint, will paint over white differently than yellow paints over yellow. And white will paint different over yellow than white will paint over white paint. Now that we have some yellow established around the edge, we're gonna come in with white from, again, Liquitex Artist Inks, and we're just gonna come back and reestablish that center line. You really want to have this bright white center line. The brighter we can have it throughout this process, the brighter all of the other colors that lay on top of that are gonna end up being. you're gonna end up doing a lot of back and forth between the colors here. All of this blending work is gonna to need to be able to have these multiple layers of blending so you can get a nice smooth transition. So now I'm going to come in with the red, again from the Liquitex Artist Inks, and we're just going to dust the very tip of the flames at the end here. As fire is hottest in the center, it's brightest in the center, and it's going to get duller as it comes out. So putting the red at the tip brings out the illusion that it is fire, and it also makes the white and yellow look brighter because we're coming away and getting darker. And that's what's really going to emphasize how bright this white is by having that contrast of darker colors coming away. All of our midtones in this is gonna be created with the translucency of the yellow and the red mixing together. So we'll actually end up getting some oranges without actually using any. Now I'm gonna come back in with some yellow and actually some white to make a really pale yellow. The red oversprayed a little bit on one side um, and I wanted it to be less orange on that side. So I'm coming in with this pale yellow to try to erase some of that red so I can come back to blending the yellow into the red a little bit more the way that I want it to. This just came out a little too orange on this side um, and I wasn't satisfied with it. So one of the beauties of this kind of process is when you're not satisfied with something, your paint layers are so thin that you can come back in and touch up and tweak and just go back and forth until you're really happy with what you've come up with. So we're gonna come in with this red and just give the tips of those flames another touch, a little dusting. We're gonna come in mostly from the top and the sides. We're not really gonna do the bottom pretty much at all on this because I want the tops of these flames as they're coming away from the from the sword, from the fire on the sword to get darker at the tips. Uh, and then we're just gonna come back in with yellow and we're gonna touch up any of that pale yellow and get more of that orange transition between the red and the yellow there and just try to make this as clean as possible and a nice smooth transition. 
we're just going to look over our work, make sure we have yellow everywhere we want. We have good transitions. So we're going to come in here for the final pass, and we just want to make sure that this tip is nice and clean on the airbrush. No speckling, get a nice smooth layer. We're going to come in just with white and get that nice center line reestablished. We really want a bright white. Think of like a lightsaber that you'll see where the the center is just bright white and the color of the lightsaber is more dictated by the OSL and the light that it shines on other things than the actual lightsaber itself. The center of the lightsaber will be bright white and then you'll have a blue or green or yellow or red glow around that bright white that really makes that lightsaber or the sword of the emperor pop. So we're just going to come in here and really get this bright white line as bright and as white as we can. Again, I'm going to try to go as slow as I can, make sure that I'm not speckling, make sure that I'm getting both sides even, and just take my time and go through here. This is the sword of the emperor. This isn't some just random space marine sword that somebody has. This is the emperor's sword. This thing was master crafted by like the masterist of crafterist guys. And now we're to come back in with yellow and just reestablish anything that we've oversprayed of the white. We do want this to have a yellow outline around the outside. Otherwise that white is not gonna look as bright as it can. And I'm actually gonna just lay this down and try to just pretty much spray around it and let just kind of the overspray fall into the tip of the sword just to, just to get the edges. And then I'm gonna come in I'm going to dust over the red to make sure that the red does have a nice orange transition into the sword. And this is just absolute final stages here. I'm going to flip this back and forth and look between both sides, make sure it's as even as I care to be, make sure that it's as bright as I want it to be. I really want this to be the last pass, so I'll be done with it. I mean, Gilliman needs to get finished. He needs his sword, and I got to paint it before I can glue it onto him. Otherwise, I'm gonna get all this color all over him and it's just not gonna be any fun. So we're just we're just gonna finish this thing off right now. And pretty happy with this. Pretty happy with what I got here. I think I'm gonna spray it a little more. And then I think I'm just gonna be done with it. We're gonna, we're gonna call this good. We're gonna get this glued on and uh, we're gonna have a Gilliman. And there he is, Papa Smurf ready for the table. I went ahead and I dusted a little bit of those artist inks, some white and some yellow, onto the side there to give kind of more of an OSL effect of that glowing sword to kind of emphasize the brightness. But uh, that sword of the emperor is really glowing and ready to smash some heretics. There we go. All done.